Yo, what's going on YouTube? Today we have another Battle Royale video. We got Randy Rodriguez going up against Jared Kosart in this gameplay. And uh, I'll let you know that I left Randy Rodriguez in a little bit too long. Uh, not that it cost me anything. Maybe. You guys will have to see. But I just want to talk about this really quickly as Jonathan Villar gets on base right here. But... I just want to t mention that I will be doing two Diamond Dynasties and one Battle Royale uh, videos just because uh, it's really easy to edit uh, the two Diamond Dynasty videos um, and then the Battle Royale video, obviously. But the Battle Royale video will always be live commentary from now on. So hopefully that's a, kind of a mix of the compromise of the two. And hopefully you guys will like that. So I'll get into that a little bit more in another Diamond Dynasty video. But let's just jump right into the gameplay here. Uh, so we have Fred McGriff getting intentionally walked right there. And that brings up Chris Iannetta. And he's going to get hit. So we have bases loaded bringing up Colby Rasmus. And what's going to happen here? How about a curveball hanging over the middle of the plate? That's going to one out the fence. And it will actually score two runs. But then we get screwed on a nice inside fastball. And it wasn't even a nice inside fastball. I don't know why I gave him credit for that. That was a ball. And I get that called a ball all day when I throw it. But it's a strike whenever it throw, it's thrown against me. So this is what I was talking about. Leaving in Wendy Rodriguez too long. This is Yoana Cespedes. And he's just going to take this ball over the fence. 3-2 count on a 2 outs. 3-2 count with 2 outs. And I left that ball way too over the middle of the plate. So he makes a 2-1. to one, And I still didn't take out Wendy Rodriguez. I don't know why. Uh, and I'll let you know, nothing happens here. He does get walked. Um, but that's pretty much it. Odubel Herrera gets walked. And then we get a ground out to the third baseman. So that ends the inning for him. And fortunately, we still have a 2-1 to one lead. That brings up Blanco. Is that Blanco? He grounds out to short. That was a tough play. If he had more speed, he probably would have been safe. Then Escobar comes up. Or that's not Escobar, I guess. I don't... What? I thought... I'm a little confused myself here. But I think this is Villar back up here. Yeah, he strikes out. And this is Michael Brantley. He's also going to just ground out to third. Nothing happens there. And we don't score any runs. So, it's 2-1 to one still. We walk the first guy, that is uh, Morrison, I believe. Then Pena comes up here. He's just going to pop one out to the left fielder. That was pretty nice because I was a little scared as soon as that came off the bat. This is Danny Santana. He's striking out. And then uh, we do get the last out right here. Just a little flip over to second base to retire the side. So, top of the third inning. If we could get one more run, it'd be pretty nice because that would give us, you know, some insurance. Jackie Robinson grounds out again, and I really don't like that Jackie Robinson card. He's just not that good for a 99 overall. He's got a lot of speed, but I don't know. I just think I'd like more of a Ichiro left-handed kind of speed and contact guy just because they're probably closer to first base out of that first step out of the box. But anyways, let's go in to the bottom of the third inning. This is where things get interesting. So... Hanley Ramirez starts things off with a nice double here, but watch this. He rounds second, and I throw it back. He was out. I swear he was out, and then he gets a base hit. So instead of having a single with one out, he gets a run with one out. And this is why uh, I ended up having some problems here. This is a 75 box burger. Brad Boxberger was downgraded to a 75 today. I didn't know that at the time. I thought he was still like an 83, 84. And then Escobar goes deep. Hits off the wall. He tags up, which gives us an opportunity. But with that little stutter animation going back to the fence, Jackie Robinson cannot throw Cespedes out. And we end up getting walked off by Escobar. And we lose our first game. So it's four. we're 4-1. Four and one. Hopefully we can keep winning. I'll show you the rewards in the next episode. But thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And we'll see you tomorrow for another one.